All right, guys, Michael here, MAD Lawn and Garden. I just made a real quick video. Um, me showing the stripes off from a, a lawn that I, uh, it's the last time I'll be mowing it. I'm just like going on about like all the sentimental, it's not a big deal. Um, I just thought it was cool because the, like I said, I've mowed it for a couple years and um, people are moving, but I literally just got the yard behind it like a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago, and then I got a yard also in that neighborhood middle of the summer so it's like i end up losing losing this one but i gained two from it and it's fine and both of those pay a little more anyway and the other one it wasn't it was a friend so it was, it was a really 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 generous rate um I like it was a nice little simple yard to mow it looks nice so and uh, almost always double cut it so like i said he's been about 45 minutes and i was going to charge them 30 which is way below my rate but that's fine Anyway, um, I just want to say, once again, I know I made a video the other day about this, but I wanted to reiterate the importance of selling services. If you want to level up, maintain, or just make you know a bunch of money, whatever your goals are, if, if the objective is growth and more money, then ultimately you're going to have to realize, like I have, that just cutting lawns is not enough. Um, you can just do that. You can charge premium prices. You can only mow lawns and you can make a decent amount of money. However, you can only scale that so far as a solo act. Now you can add to that and you can make just mowing a six-figure gig but it's still gonna top off at a certain point what I'm getting out here is for instance this yard I just picked up this yard and that's fifty dollars a week when I cut it all right now new homeowner and they've done some things in the house they did like some some landscaping and whatnot. They didn't do it. It was done before they moved in. It was wasn't done real great. Kind of seeded it. So, anyway, so I'm mowing a yard and I'm showing her. I'm like, I said your soil is very compact. It could use some aeration, fertilization, and weed treatment, and an overseeding. And she's all ears, and she's sitting there with a friend, with a friend and a uh, boyfriend and brother. I, I, I don't know. There's three of them there, but all, none of them objected. They were all like, Yeah, that sounds great. That sounds like your yard needs it. And she was like, Yeah, I can do that. So I'm like, All right. And then they're like, oh, she wants this done. She wants this. So it's like it opens up. They don't realize. They're like, oh, you do all this stuff. And that's the thing, guys. Like these, they don't realize. And I've had it happen many times. Like I've been mowing yards for people. And, you know, all of a sudden they have a bigger landscaping outfit coming in to do like a renovation. Or just, you know do this or that and I'm just and then I'm just like thrown off like hey why didn't they ask me and you have to not get upset about that because you have to realize that they didn't ask you because they didn't know they could they just didn't think to think that that's what you did also like, as far as they're concerned you just been cutting their grass you didn't offer them additional services you didn't tell them that there is edging if you weren't already edging. You didn't tell them that you could treat if you can treat. You didn't tell them you could seed if you can seed. You didn't tell them you could trim if you can trim. You didn't tell them you could mulch if you can mulch. You hear where I'm going with this? So you could turn that 30, 40, 50 dollars a week plus into that plus periodic you know on top of that you could probably add another easily 500 if not a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars in services a year if they're open to it i mean i'm not telling you to push things on people that don't want it and don't have the money for it but if the people have the money and they're willing to pay and they want the services all you have to do is offer them and and then you know you go from there so there you go Anyway, 
that's point. That's it. I'm gonna hop off here, get ready to pull up to uh, the next lawn. Oh, excuse me. Rough day. It's like two o'clock. I've only done three. I sat on three of them for a long time. Man, look all right. And then I was, like I said, it was worth the extra time because I talked to a customer about um, services. So there it is. Um, just make sure that if you can make time for that stuff. Don't go crazy doing it. If you have like, you know, a million yards and you just absolutely don't have the extra time to do these things, don't even try. But if you have the time, do it. That's, uh, that's my advice. That's Michael, MAD Lawn and Garden, and I'll catch you here in a few.